What do you need? Talk about what? The only thing I want to do right now is find Dustal. If he's alive, th there's just nothing else I want to think about. I'll understand if we can't look for him right now, but if we could, it would be a huge load off my mind. How can I help? Am I so transparent? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised, considering our bond. Yes, there is something I would like to ask, if you're permitted. In our time together, I've been watching you. You are a true servant of the light. You follow the tenets of the Jedi Order, despite the lore of the dark side. And with so little training, for me, it has always been a constant battle. Don't you find it difficult at all? You make it seem so easy. Or is that only an illusion? And that's enough for you. If only it were as easy for me. If only the right path was always clear. I've always struggled for control over my passions. I've always been too quick to anger, too quick to get involved. My instructors constantly berated me for it. I've often dreamed that I might be able to confront Darth Malak myself. I dream I can use all this power I have to kill him and stop all the death and destruction. I just think about all the evil that the Sith have caused and I, I get so furious. Yet we are told that these feelings are the path to the dark side. I don't know. Would the power I use to kill Darth Malak be too tempting to keep using? Would I become the kind of evil I want to destroy? The very thought that I could become as evil as Malak, I just can't fathom it. It just doesn't seem possible. I mean, how could I... No. Wait, I'm sorry. I shouldn't even be asking you this. The Jedi teachings are clear. Who am I to question them? And even worse, who am I to try and make you question them? These are dangerous thoughts. The indulgence of a vain mind. Please, forget I ever mentioned this. Let's just return to our mission. did not succeed, Master, though it was a valiant attempt for a meatbag. Supplication. Perhaps it would be best if you desisted your efforts for the moment, meat. I mean, Master. This seems to be going nowhere. As you desire, Master. I cannot help but...
Yeah, what do you want? You want another war story, huh? You want to hear about some other world getting wasted, eh? I knew you were the type. Your stagnant republic has never seen some of the strange creatures and races we fought on the Outer Rim in those years. <laughs> and you never will now. We were going through the asteroid fields of the Crispin system at the very edge of the galaxy, playing with the pirates and smugglers we found there. The main belt in the Crispin system consists of mainly small rocks covered in frozen methane gas shells, and the pirates were using them for cover. Ha! <laughs> I remember using a thermal generator to cause the outer layer of one of the asteroids to vaporize in a picosecond. It blew out and shredded the three smugglers using it for cover. But that was a mistake. The asteroid I had targeted was smaller than most, maybe a dozen meters on a side. On the outside, it looked the same as any other, just a ball covered in frozen gas. But something must have been inside it, something inactive in the cold. The heat of my blast might have triggered something or woken something up. After I'd hit it, spots of light and heat appeared all over the thin shell, still covering it, evaporating the gases. What lay underneath looked like some sort of rocky growth. A deformed rock, pitted by scores of micrometeorite scars. I think something even older might have been inside that. Maybe, but maybe not. It started rotating faster and faster as we watched it. After a second, it started spraying fire, thermal projectiles that melted our armor like wax. We were caught completely by surprise. Before we could counterattack, it fled at an incredible speed. We couldn't catch it, but we could follow its hyperspace wake. We followed its trail as far as we could, heading away from the galactic core. When it finally led beyond the edge of our galaxy, we abandoned our efforts. Anything that wants to commit suicide in that great void is not worth our trouble trying to catch. Uh, that's the only story I have for now. I'll tell you some more stuff later if we get the chance. Is there something else you want to know? <laughs> Stimulants make a warrior out of even the weakest human. Here's a strength-boosting stimulant to help you get stronger. There anything else you need? Your choice. Yes. What is it? I... I have been bothered by something of late. I never told you where I came from, did I? Where I grew up as a child? <laughs> I suppose I was trying to deny what I was feeling. I have been wrestling with my feelings inside. Trying to come to terms with it, but I find I cannot. I must have someone to blame. Someone to blame for the destruction of my homeworld. Someone who is responsible for the death of everyone I have ever known except those on Dantooine. Taris. It was Taris that the Sith destroyed to try to kill you and your precious Bastilla. Taris, my homeworld. If it were not for you and Bastilla, the Sith would have never had reason to destroy that world. It was your fault for being there, and your fault for rescuing Bastilla. Without your intervention, the Sith would have had no cause to lay waste to my childhood. Just let me vent my anger. I need someone to blame. Something. Anything. I hated that world. Yet everything I learned as a child, I learned there. It is as much a part of me as the air I breathe. I have this ache inside me, where all my childhood memories lay, and I find your face there with them. If it was not for you, that world would still exist.
I know. I suppose I realized that. But it is so hard to lose your entire past. You would not understand. Yes. Yes, I suppose it will. As long as we remain focused on our task, it will. I am sorry. I will try not to distract you in the future with my trivial experiences. We should stop for now. Got something on your mind, do you? Did I say that? Strange the tricks memory plays on you when you get older. Didn't I say that my past was my affair? You don't see me poking and prodding you with questions, do you? I'm not here to satisfy your curiosity. No staring at the old man, that's what the sign says, damn it. And besides, you don't really want to hear about me. We're talking ancient history, probably before you were born. History bores kids. Proven fact. Oh, fine, fine. Have it your way. Just don't cry about it later. Yes, yes, I was an adventurer. Happy now? I wasn't even done with my Jedi training back then. I had a full head of hair and an eagerness to see absolutely everything. Sound familiar? The Council was never happy with willful, brash Jolie Bindo, you see. Even less so when I began my smuggling career. Don't look at me like that, damn it! I wasn't always the wrinkled coot I am now, you know. I can still fight, too. So wipe off that smirk I see there. At the time, the Yukata system was interdicted by its own king. He preferred to keep his people starving and poor. All the better to oppress them. The Senate was trying to negotiate a peace, but they were getting nowhere as usual. I decided I wasn't going to wait. I found myself a ship and a partner, and we began smuggling food and supplies to the Yukata citizenry through the blockade. Oh, it was. I was a half-decent pilot in those days, and with the force guiding me, we made it through some tough spots nobody else would have. Pilot, smuggler, several other things, too. Or did you suppose I was always a crotchety hermit? Well, we didn't buy all the equipment, per se. Some were happy to donate goods. Some we just, uh, knew had more than they could use. Stole is such a harsh word. They would have donated those goods readily enough if they were compassionate. I considered it a tax on the greedy. We only got caught once. A lone Yukatish frigate shot us down and forced a crash landing. I thought the force had abandoned me, as I remember. Well, as it happens, getting shot down turned out to be very fortunate. That day was the day I...
you know another way to get a wife? But yes, that's when I met her. I... if it's all the same to you, I'd prefer to stop talking now. My mouth is starting to draw flies. <laughs>